Hi everybody, welcome to your reading for the week of June 25th, 2018. And this is a general love reading for all astrological signs. I did put out July's monthly readings, um, so I'll put a link right here so you can see that. And um, working on mid-monthly readings also. If you'd like a private reading with me, you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. So let's go ahead and see what messages. I'm going to shuffle. I've been shuffling off camera, but I'll shuffle a few more times. Okay. And I'm going to angle this down a little bit. This is regarding love. Okay, let's see what comes up. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Swords. Wow. The Seven of Wands. This has been coming up quite a bit over the weekly readings. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords. Look at that. Okay, I'm getting something about investing your energy where you want to put your time, effort, and energy when it comes to love. You may be torn between an air sign and an earth sign. It could also be an air sign and a fire sign, but I want to see what's underneath here. Another air sign. So the air signs, just so you know, are Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. And uh, the earth signs are Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. And then the fire is Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. But with this underneath, I feel like some of you may, this comes across to me as very, um, like needing a break. Uh, the four also does represent the family foundation. It could also be, it's the fourth house, which is ruled by cancer. So could be a water sign. Um, that's what happens when reading for thousands of people. But I feel that some of you may be taking a break or there's a need to look at a love relationship from a different point of view, a different perspective. And here we have, let me angle this down a little bit better so you can see it. Oh, there's always a glare, isn't there? Let me see if I can adjust that a little bit. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. And this definitely represents a lot of growth. There may be a love situation that you will have grown from but oftentimes when I look at this there's also a possible decision to make whether or not you're going to keep um, developing this relationship I feel also that this card also for me represents independence and that you've come a well, I just heard that. What is that saying? You've come a long way, baby. I don't know if that was like a baby Ruth Bar commercial. I don't know why I'm getting that. Maybe there's something with baseball that's coming up. But if um, if I remember where that comes from, you've come a long way, baby. I don't know. That sounds like an advertisement. So I don't know if somebody's in advertising but I think that some of you are going to be making a decision. 
Now, it can be also with the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Sometimes this represents energy for me. So there can be some struggling with thoughts regarding a person or somebody is struggling with thoughts about you. There may be two people involved in this. So it may be that somebody has left. There is a situation from the past where somebody is moving out or you're deciding whether or not to continue in the situation or if you're wanting this independence here. But I get that some of you, especially with this Ace of Pentacles, are moving on. Now, I am shooting this prior to June 25th. Today's actually June 20th, so these energies can already be taking place. But if you have moved on, I feel like there's somebody around you that maybe is having some difficulties or struggles that you have moved on. Um, like, they're, they may be returning. Now, with the, the knight and the king, now, for me, this can represent people. Again, as I mentioned, two different people. It can also be energy. Can also be with the two people that there is somebody that is possibly more mature in age, chronological age, or this can be that there's somebody newer and an older energy and you have a choice to make again, whether or not you're going to stay with somebody that you've been with a while or move on to a new love opportunity. And that's what this symbolizes. Um, somebody that is possibly more grounding. Um, you might even meet them, I'm hearing, through work. Because oftentimes, pentacles for me in my readings can represent a work environment. Um, but we do have a lot of swords here, which represents communication. So this could be that you may be meeting somebody new. And I'm feeling like this could be online or through telecommunications, so social media or something like that. And their struggles with envy or jealousy, I don't know. Usually with this card, I, th those that comes up. And I oftentimes, if I focus on the green, um, which I am focusing on now, for some reason that represents jealousy for me. Um, and it can be that there is somebody that is returning or coming back. They may be a bit hostile or angry that you have moved on or that whatever, if you're, you haven't moved on yet, but you may be moving on and seeking your own independence. For some of you, there may be some internal thought process, some struggles with all these swords because of money. Maybe that's why you've remained in a situation is because uh, you haven't quite felt like you're on your feet. And some of you, I feel like something is coming in, a new job opportunity, new work, or the possibility of being able to manifest something for yourself so that you're able to leave this situation alone and kind of move on to someone new or move on on your own. It's going to be different for each person. But these are just some messages that are coming through that I am picking up on. And I also get traveling. Some of you may be definitely travel, be traveling. It could be work related. It could, this also can represent school that you may be meeting somebody in school, whether it's summer school or even online. For some reason, I'm getting communication with that again, and I'm being pulled to your past for some of you. Um, but you might be traveling with work or school, summer school, and uh, or an employment opportunity, as I was stating, and you meet somebody new. So it can be even while traveling for work or something like that. 
So anyways, all right, these are some messages. If you would like a personal reading with me, please go to my website, moonwatertarot.com. I'd love to do one for you. And thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.